Waiting for pre-orders to arrive is a natural part of the modern toy collecting hobby, but no matter how amazing a toy company is, and no matter how patient you are with your toys, some days it's just time to pull the plug and look for an alternate way to get the same character into your collection. But in this case, did I make the right choice? We'll talk about it right here on Toy Connections. Let's begin. I suppose we can start with the elephant in the room. Why am I making this video? And also, additionally to all this, what does it have to do with this third party DX9 figure known as Gewalt, who is their rendition of the Masterpiece Blitzwing that fits seamlessly with your Masterpiece collection of toys meant to represent the Generation 1 Transformers in modern Masterpiece form. So I'll start by going back a good number of years and when the Masterpiece Transformers line was announced, I had planned to collect every character that existed in the first two seasons of the Transformers cartoon, as well as the characters that appeared in the 1986 movie. Now, that's where I just naturally pulled the plug and said that's where I'm going to draw my limits for Masterpiece collecting as far as this hobby is concerned. Now, that is just for the Masterpiece line of toys. That is not the same set of limits that I put onto my Generation 1 toy collection or other toy collections for that matter that have to do with other intellectual properties. A brief history on the Masterpiece and third party craze that has swept the Transformers community and fandom for the last number of years. Now Takara and Hasbro had been releasing Masterpiece toys for a good number of years and eventually because releases were not happening on a regular basis, third party upstart companies started springing up and filling those gaps. Companies such as Fans Project way back in the day, Fans Toys who I'm going to talk about extensively in this video filling the gap as well as others such as Mastermind Creations, Perfect Effect, Fans, Hobby, DX9, Unique Toys. There's so many companies out there. Now, the thing about it is they had created their toys in a way where they made them into the Masterpiece style and scale, but they could not officially use the Transformers character names. They could use the likenesses and find legal loopholes around using the likenesses. They couldn't use faction symbols. Again, they could not use the names or officially call them Transformers. However, we as fans accepted them into the fandom and put them into our collections seamlessly and display our third party toys much like we display our official Hasbro and Takara based product. So it's become commonplace more so in Transformers as a hobby more so than other toy collecting properties out there. That's the brief history of why third party Transformers is so important to the collecting space of Masterpiece. Now, as far as my own personal collection is concerned, I did more or less accomplish getting the first two seasons worth of Masterpiece or third party Masterpiece characters as well as the characters from the movie into my personal toy collection. Now, the last holdout, the last standing character was Blitzwing, the triple changer who turns from a robot to a plane and also into a tank. In order to tell the full story of all this, we need to wind the clock back to 2016 when Fans Toys announced a figure known as Berserk. Again, they couldn't call him Blitzwing, so they called him Berserk. And he was their rendition of Masterpiece Blitzwing. Now, at the time, this was at the height and the peak of the third party Masterpiece craze and Fans Toys elected to do a digital render and sell people based on pre-orders. Again, Fans Toys has an amazing reputation and I have so many Fans Toys figures in my collection. This is not meant to slag them at all as a brand. If anything, the fact that I waited seven years before I canceled a pre-order and only did it in an opportunistic basis, which is what I'm about to get into next, is a testament to how good Fans Toys is as a third party Transformers brand. So if you're a fan of their product, if you work for that company, if you've distributed their product before in the past and plan to do so in the future, I'm right there with you. I'll continue to praise their product, I'll continue to show it in my videos, but in this particular video, I decided to give up on that pre-order and I felt because it represents a feel-good story of what I've gone through as a toy collector, I thought it was worth telling it right here on this particular video. Okay, so as mentioned, I did purchase the Fans Toys Berserk or at least placed a pre-order on an online store back in 2016 and 
I was patient. And as they say, patience is a virtue. When it comes to pre-orders, you know you're going to be waiting a long time. And I was willing to say, whatever, I'll wait as long as it takes because it's fans toys and their product is arguably, and in some cases not arguably, the best when it comes to third party and Masterpiece Transformers. So. When I placed a pre-order back then, look, this was long before the pandemic, long before inflation, and a number of years start to go by and I start to wonder, is the price of the pre-order going to go up when it finally goes into stock? I mean, during the pandemic, prices just rose like you wouldn't believe, right? You see it in all walks of pop culture, all walks of collecting. Prices just keep soaring higher and higher. And I was thinking to myself, well, if I can get something that's comparable but close to the original price that I had paid to pre-order the Fans Toys Berserk figure, why not go and get it as long as it's in an opportunistic manner and it makes me happy and can go well into my collection. So eventually what had happened was a friend of mine said, hey Ken, I've got the DX9 Gowalt figure, which is their version of Masterpiece Blitzwing. By this point in time, this figure had been out for a few years, and at the time that I pre-ordered the Fans Toys version of this character, this DX9 version had not been released yet, so I did not get a chance to look at reviews. When I looked up reviews eventually of the DX9 version, I realized it's pretty good. In fact, it's more than just good enough. Like, if the cut to make Ken's collection is up here, it's definitely past that level. Now, I would argue that it's hard to beat fans toys and when you look at what they've done in the past and when you look at the fans toys version of blitzwing and you compare it to the dx9 version it's arguable that the fans toys version is better and in fact i like the proportions just a little bit better i know there are other companies out there such as keith's fantasy club as well as star toys that have done a blitzwing before but this particular dx9 version happened to come up locally and if you're unsure about what all these third-party transformers company names are and what the heck ken is talking about don't worry about it too much. The fact of the matter is there's a lot of third-party companies out there and Ken is just going on about the names he happens to know and I can't even keep up with most of them anymore. So at the end of the day what I decided to do was say look I'm gonna look up some reviews of this DX9 version and if it's good enough I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that pre-order. I'm not gonna mention the store and the retailer I canceled from because I don't like to cancel from smaller shops but I do know that once that shop gets the Fans Toys Blitzwing in, they will be able to sell it, no problem. Again, it's Fans Toys. Eventually what I did is my local friend, Jeff, who you may know because I've mentioned his name many times on this channel, and he sold me a lot of rare Transformers in the past. He happened to get the DX9 version of the figure, and I said, okay, now that I've looked at some reviews, I'm gonna go ahead and make this purchase off of you and cancel the other item. Again, I was very patient with fans toys and I'll continue to talk about the patience that pays off with them a little bit later on. So I purchased it, I ended up bringing it home and I transformed it, I took it out of the box. It was a long transformation. I'll admit that the DX9 transformations are not easy to do. In order to get him from the tank mode into the jet mode was, well, I almost don't want to say how long it was, but it was over 20 minutes just for me to even do that transformation. And then in order to get him into robot mode, it was another 15 to 20 minutes or so. But we got there, so I guess it's okay. And he looks great in my collection. I don't think you can really go wrong with product made by DX9 as far as being a third party company is concerned. I have their Astro Train. I have other figures that they've made. It's all good when it comes to them. Now. On the topic of fans' toys, and on the topic of them having done third-party product in the past, look, even before the announcement of Masterpiece Soundwave, this was just sometime shortly after 2010, maybe around 2011, Fans Toys had announced a character known as Acoustic Wave. Maybe, maybe the name was different back then, but he was their rendition of Masterpiece Soundwave. And that figure just got shelved after a little while, and the reason for that was because Takara had announced a Masterpiece Soundwave. Ultimately, long after the release of Masterpiece Soundwave, Fans Toys under their Robot Paradise sub-brand ended up releasing a character, well, the character I mentioned known as Acoustic Wave. A lot of people like it, and hey, it was many years, it was probably a decade between them announcing that figure and actually getting it into the hands of collectors. Now that's a little bit different than the case of the fans toys Blitzwing figure that they 
put out because that one they took pre-orders way back in the day and they still haven't released it to date. What I've heard in the background is that the figure for Blitzwing has been redesigned and then redesigned again. I don't know how true that is. That is just through scouring internet forums and internet fan sites and social media. Again, I can't speak to the credibility of that. I can only say what I've heard as hearsay. And also, Fans Toys have been prioritizing other projects and other characters. You know what? You're gonna get your product if you pre-order their version of Blitzwing or Berserk as they call it. But ultimately, I am happy with the DX9 version. And again, if you have any version of Blitzwing as far as Masterpiece or third party is concerned, I'd like you to state it in the comments below. And I'd also like to know if what, what your thoughts are. If you've ever had to wait this long or anywhere near this long for a pre-order, do put it in the comment section below. Again, very happy with my product. And I do believe that the reason Fans Toys sold us on a digital render in the past was because there was a lot of competition at the time and Fans Toys knew that they were head and shoulders the best in the game, or at least arguably the best in the game. I'll do love to Mastermind Creations because I love that brand as well. But a lot of people felt that Fans Toys was the number one third party company at the time. So when other companies were making announcements, Fans Toys would release digital renders and say, hey, we're gonna take the sector of the market. We're gonna go ahead and release this Digibash. We're gonna go ahead and release this 3D render. You can pre-order based off of that and we'll get the figure to you. I don't blame them because they were trying to stay ahead of the game. They knew their reputation and they knew that they could sell people on their product and that fans would likely back out of buying other products if they knew Fans Toys was making one. Again, just good business overall, but if you've ever looked at my collection, if you've ever looked at the Masterpiece and third-party stuff in my collection, you will know that I've bought a whole slew of third-party stuff across all these brands. Ultimately, at the end of the day, this is just a story I wanted to share with you as the viewers of the channel and any new viewers out there who are discovering this channel for the first time and just sharing the story of the longest pre-order that I've ever gone through and the longest pre-order that I've ever had to cancel. And again, I only canceled it due to the opportunistic nature of being able to track down a comparable and very good product and saying, you know what, even if the Fans Toys one does come out, I'm very happy with this version of the figure. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below talk to me if it's your first time here again i know i said it earlier already welcome and if you enjoyed this video don't go anywhere just yet you can check out some other toy connections video content involving masterpiece and third party figures by clicking right over here or for a look at the history of transformers as a toy franchise you can click on this video right over here and with that let's transform and roll out into the next video thanks again and take care